Some people go their entire lives hiding from the idea that the world might just be a little bit bigger than the one that they are living in. The one that fits on a screen. A screen that fits into a box of what life should be. A box that fits in a hand. A hand that gave up reaching because of a feeling of when another hand doesn't reach back. I mean, sometimes I stare into selfie mode and say it's not you, it's me. Because screens are really symptoms of what we think we need. We carry our discontent like canaries in coal mines. But our screams may call on an honest apocalypse. Uncovering answers for our addictions. My depression is an addiction. My depression is a hand that doesn't reach back. It is a pill on my tongue, a credit card in a bathroom stall. My depression is treating my life like a hotel, where no matter how long I meant to stay, I will still try to check out time and time again, leaving the bill to be paid by an afterthought. After I feel better, after five more minutes has passed me by, or a day, or a month, or a love of mine, they begin to wonder if happily ever after ever feels like this, to be second to a stream. You see, when I'm alone, I check my phone. When I'm alone, I check my phone. When I'm alone in a room full of people, I check my phone. How are you really, though, when the lights go out and the only thing left in between you and your dreams are bed sheets of lonely? So instead, you search for the light, the blue light, one that comes with endless scrolls, like soldiers in the fight of convincing yourself you're all right, even if you can't stand the idea of having a conversation with yourself. But still, you have so much to feel, like a heart, your heart like a hand, your hand. Tell me about the first time your hand ever reached out. And the hand you wanted, the hand you needed, it didn't reach back. And you didn't know what to do because your heart, it felt like it was breaking. And even now, thinking about your hands, they start shaking. So you put a phone in them. You'll always be able to find a reason to hold on. But what if you got a notification saying it's time to let go? Sometimes letting go looks like 74 bouquets of flowers spread throughout your home and the power to be there for someone else even when I don't know if I could be there for me. But my heart is not a stream. It does not need to be replaced every single time that it breaks. No, my heart is a cherry blossom tree in a cemetery. No matter how many endings I am surrounded by, I will still bloom again. Yeah. Streams are caskets. Yeah. Even when it is time to let go, they build a barrier in between us and where we're meant to go. And I will burn down barriers until my whole world is made up of ashes. And yes, you can fit them into a box that fits in my hand. But if I keep holding on instead of spreading it around, then I might just go my entire life hiding from the idea that there could be a hand out there reaching for me.